Members attended religious services to kick off the Lenten season. Governor Kay Ivey proclaiming today as a day of prayer for Ukraine. Our Carly Lane live in the CBS 42 Digital Newsroom with more on a unified prayer vigil. Carly. Our people continue to call for peace in Ukraine. Today, the faith community held a prayer vigil at Kelly Ingram Park. This was the tone as several denominations came together to pray. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. And this unified group gathered with one common goal to lift up the people of Ukraine. Today marks 10 days since Russia first invaded Ukraine. As negotiations and sanctions continue to be placed on Russia, the faith-based community is doing its part to promote peace. Episcopal Diocese of Alabama Bishop Glenda Curry attended today's vigil. She says she believes in the power of prayer. Uh, we have to entreat God to stop the violence. Uh, perhaps that will get word back to the people there who are suffering and it'll bring hope and nourish them in the middle of what they're doing. And perhaps it will be um, helpful to those that are trying to negotiate peace and stop the violence to know that people here care that much. Today's crowd was made up of Christian, Catholic, Jewish and Islamic followers, a united stance during a time of division and war for Ukraine. Now, as of today, more than 2000 civilian Ukrainian people have died during this ongoing invasion. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Carly Lang, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.